it so people know that we're in love. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Be safe. I'm just going to get my nails done, babe. You can either be safe just walk into the mailbox. Thank you, baby. You know, people comment that we don't really show that much physical affection to each other. So we got to start. Because if it doesn't happen on social media, then it doesn't happen in real life, babe. Right. You didn't know that? Apparently. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Starting out this vlog in the car again. I just picked up Kayvon from school. Hi, KK. Hi. Hi, KK. How was your school day, KK? I see friends. You saw your friends? Yeah. You have fun? Yeah. You guys are learning the letter C this week, right? No. No? Which letter? Learning the letter P? Yeah. Guys, Kayvon is a creature of habit and I created a monster because last time I picked him up from school we went to Target and now he thinks every time I pick him up from school we're heading to Target. So the second he saw me he's like, Target? And I'm like, no, not today. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me, KK. But what mommy could go for is some Starbucks. So we're gonna go to Starbucks. Um, I got my nails done because I have my first beauty event that I'm going to. Since having twins, I have not been to a beauty event and I'm so excited because I feel like I'm so disconnected from the beauty world. So I'm going to a lunch tomorrow with Bobby Brown and I'm really excited for it, but I needed some new nails. I just got super basic, like the quickest nails that I could get so I can go pick up Vaughn from school on time. So yeah, I got my nails done. Mel is with the twins right now. By the way, my parents aren't in town this whole week. Like pretty much for the past two weeks, Mel and I have been on our own and it's been crazy with three kids y'all oh my gosh i appreciate my parents so much like when they're here it's still hard don't get me wrong but it's just so nice to have like an extra set of hands you know what i mean so mel just got the babies ready so we're about to go home and then we're all gonna go to bye bye baby together let's go see brother sister kk and then we can all we're gonna all go to starbucks no i go target we'll see if daddy needs to go to target if he does then we can all go to target okay no, mommy go target kk I want this is why I'm not ready to be a parent because me I'm like I want to go too like <laughs> but okay 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 we're gonna see if daddy wants to go to Target too okay uh, what baby three? well we got three so it works yeah it works for us <laughs> <laughs> I love this car. This is the perfect car for, for family. It's a van or? It's a, it's a van. So we are currently at Bye Bye Baby. Um, I don't know why. I just totally forgot why we came. Oh, no. We have to get another um, changing pad for the house. And we also wanted to try this swaddle for Kai since he likes to feel so cuddly and snuggled. Um, this is the nested bean sleep sack. See, it has like a little weighted... Um, what is this like a little weighted section in the center obviously not a heavy weight but it's kind of like a weighted blanket if that makes sense babe remember the first time we ever came to bye bye baby i was pregnant with Kayvon. now look at us now Leverage. look at us Pros. we know we know everything in this remember how clueless we were at first now we're like all right babe look at this though i saw this on tiktok look this sanitizes everything in 10 minutes i believe 10 minutes should we get it? It looks like it's a lot less space. Oh, this, this looks pretty It cool. is less space, you're right. Honestly, y'all, if you're just gonna have one baby, like get this one. The fact that it sterilizes and dries everything in 10 minutes is insane. Ours takes about 45 minutes to an hour, so this is really cool, but I could definitely not fit as much. 
Please look at Vaughn with his cart. What are you doing, mister? You shopping? You shopping, KK? What do you guys Come on, Vaughn. Come on, Vaughn. Let's go over here. Let's leave that, Vaughn. Can I see? Thank you. Come on, Vaughn. Let's go back to brother and sister. Hello you guys, so last time y'all saw us, we were in Bye Bye Baby, and I swear everything after that was just a blur. We went out to eat, and then by the time we get home, like, that's always the craziest hour in this house, is just right before Vaughn goes to bed, you know, getting him into the bath, and just getting us all settled, and even just coming in the house, like from the car, our hands are so full. We're holding both the car seats. We have cave on, we have the diaper bag, we have my purse, we have the shopping bags we have from the day, like, it is chaos coming into the house. And especially at this hour when Mel is putting Kayvon to sleep upstairs, I'm like on my own down here. And it's kind of hard to be on your own when you have two babies and when they start crying at the same time. Hold on, let me. So you guys can see him. He's in his swing. The blanket isn't. Just from that angle, it looks like the blanket is covering him. It isn't. It's just lay on top and I am watching him. So don't you guys worry. Um, but this hour is always the hardest in the house because again i'm just down here by myself and right now it's not that bad when they're both crying especially if i'm nursing one of them and the other one starts crying it's so hard you guys honestly you guys i'm really happy i had twins second time around and not the first time around because it would have been so hard for me to handle. Um, I feel like as a first time mom, like crying just stresses you out so much. It still stresses you out, but not as much as when you're a first time mom. Like right now I can handle him, you know, fussing. He's changed, he's fed. When you have twins and you're by yourself, you have to be able to handle a little bit of crying or else like you're just not gonna survive. You know what I mean? Too? Okay, we'll eat. Can I feed sister real quick? Can I feed sissy? Here we go. Now the other one's crying. Sissy, real quick, please. Honestly, one thing that I do that helps me a lot if I'm ever like by myself with the twins, I'm not by myself with them too often, but when I am and they're both crying, what really helps is popping in headphones just to help keep me centered and focused. Because when they're both crying at the same time, you can get so scatterbrained and just so all over the place. And even though like I'm calm, my camera died as I was talking to you guys, but basically what I was saying was that it can be so easy to get overstimulated as a parent, especially to multiple children. Um, you know, babies are crying. Kayvon's watching TV and his iPad is on or like his toy is making noise at the same time and then like there can just be so many noises at once and what really helped me was just popping in headphones and it really just helps me stay like grounded and focused and not get all frazzled and scatterbrained. Mom tip I guess I could say but get yourself some noise canceling headphones even if you just have one baby it can get so easy to get so- what the hell was that babe? So you guys saw that nested bean swaddle that we got for Kai. We just put him in it and both the babies are so calm right now. I fed them both. They're finally chilling. Yeah, here is the nested bean swaddle. So this feels like a little bean bag right here. And I wanted to try it out for Kai because again, you guys know he's a big cuddle bug. He loves to feel smothered <laughs> in a way. Yeah. So this yeah. definitely calmed him down. Yeah. So you guys, this is literally a little like bean bag right here. Moochie mamas. She needs to get swaddled too. I brought it down so I'm not gonna wrap her up. So y'all know I like to end the night with cleaning up the house and getting it ready for the next day. And it's so crazy, you guys. We start every morning with a spotless home. And I just wanna show you guys realistically what our house looks like by the end of the night. Just because I know, especially on social media, you could be watching all these videos and TikToks and feel like some moms have 
everything under control and their house is spotless 24 7 and i know it might seem like that but that's just not realistic and that's one thing i had to learn as a mom who's also a neat freak that you gotta let messes happen it was definitely easier with one baby keeping the house spotless but when you have multiple and life is just happening you gotta let messes go I know it's really hard, especially if you're like me and you like the place to be spotless and clean. And I'm someone, I thrive in a clean, organized environment. It's really hard for me to focus if I have a mess around me. But at the same time, I don't want to get in the way of my children's fun. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to stop Kayvon from having fun because, oh, you're making a mess. Like messes can be cleaned up, you know what I mean? And they can also be left for the end of the night after he goes to sleep so I can clean without getting in the way of our time together, if that makes sense. So let me show you guys what our house looks like. So here's the living room. The living room never really gets super bad. It's mostly toys. We have toys everywhere. We have popcorn kernels on the floor. And then the kitchen, you guys, is always the worst. Oh my goodness. This island, y'all, is a catch-all. Everything... Yeah. So yeah, guys, there's definitely pros and cons to having a big kitchen island. Pro, obviously you have a lot of space. It's beautiful. It's definitely a statement. Con, you put everything on there. It's because so, we can leave a mess on this side and still cook and prep stuff on the other side. So yeah. Later. Right. So like if I'm filming, I can easily just film this angle right here. And you guys don't see all of this. We have packages that need to be handled. Is that a diaper? We literally have a diaper. So yeah, don't beat yourselves up if you feel like you're the only person in the world with a messy house. We all have messy homes. We just know how to hide it. <laughs> and then again, like I said, messes can be cleaned. So that is what I'm about to do real quick. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. That's something that really helps me. So I like to set little timers whenever I have tasks to do, like cleaning up the kitchen. I'll set a 20 minute timer. So Nas is competitive. In I am, words. I am. So she needs to have some sort of competition or Motivation. some motive or some reason if you don't have a timer you can't really see how much time is going by so you feel like you're literally spending an eternity cleaning so that's also why i like to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and pop in my headphones listen to my audiobook and try to handle this kitchen look at this look at this on my white couch you guys look at that Hello guys, I feel like a new person. I actually had time to go get a blowout. I also did my makeup today. I honestly forgot what I look like with makeup on and my parents are back in town. It's been a few days since you guys saw the rest of the footage. So I actually had some time to you know, get all dolled up. So today we're just gonna be working on the nursery tour and then also taking our pictures. And also the twins are turning two months tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and take pictures for them. We have to go to the fabric store and pick out a background. So we have a lot of exciting stuff happening today. So before we get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and cook some lunch. I'm gonna be making this meal from HelloFresh. This is their one pan cheesy beef tortilla melts. Honestly, bless HelloFresh because we have literally nothing in the fridge. So I'm so happy that we actually have some food. They just save you so much time, money, and stress. You guys know we've been getting HelloFresh for such a long time now. We've been working with them for like 
I would say two, almost three years now. And every single meal, you guys, is so fire. So if you guys have never heard of HelloFresh, they just make it so easy and simple to create delicious meals right at home. Everything you guys need for your meal comes in these handy-dandy little meal kits. So you get all of your ingredients straight to your door. You don't have to plan your meals and go to the grocery store and do that whole shebang. I honestly hate going to the grocery store. So the fact that everything comes straight to my door is amazing. They also provide you step-by-step -step instructions with pictures. So regardless, of your experience in the kitchen whether you are a beginner or you're super advanced you know you're a seasoned cook did you hear that little pun babe it's just so funny and you just don't appreciate it so whatever i've learned so many new techniques and flavor combinations from hellofresh so even if you guys are super experienced in the kitchen it doesn't hurt to get that convenience and then also learn a few new things in the kitchen as well and i'm just really excited to make this so let me put on my apron i actually got some questions about where this apron is from in my last video i got this from amazon it came in a little two pack but i love wearing an apron when I cook, I just feel so official and I'm a klutz, like I drop everything. I miss having a belly with the apron cause I'd always tie it like right above the bum and I'd have like a little bump with the apron. Having HelloFresh ready for me in the fridge just feels like such a weight is off my shoulders. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, especially as a working, busy mom. Just having HelloFresh ready to go just, it's just so nice. I can just focus on the fun part of cooking and not the annoying parts, like having to meal plan and grocery shop. HelloFresh has new recipes every single week. I told you guys I've been getting HelloFresh for almost three years now and the fact that they still have brand new recipes every single week is just so amazing. Since they have a ton of seasonal recipes, all the ingredients are always fresh, ripe, and just picked. It goes straight from the farm to your table in less than a week. I don't know about you guys, but in this household lately, we put cooking on the back burner. If we're busy, we got a lot of things to do. The last thing on our minds is to go grocery shopping and cook. So I love that HelloFresh kind of, you know, saves us from doing that because nowadays we all know how expensive ordering takeout and delivery is. So I love that I can still make a home cooked meal for my family and it's so quick. This meal was so easy to make you guys. And I love that it didn't take that many, you know, pots and pans. I didn't have that many dishes afterwards, which is always a plus. HelloFresh also offers a ton of different meal plans depending on your dietary needs. So they offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals so it can align with whatever goals that you have. They also have a ton of family-friendly recipes in case you have some picky eaters in the family. So there really is something for everybody. So now I'm assembling the tortilla melt. So I'm taking that cream cheese and sour cream mixture and spreading it onto the quesadilla and then adding the meat and cheese. And usually when we make quesadillas, we don't do that whole like cream cheese and sour cream thing. So I'm definitely gonna start incorporating that whenever I make quesadillas at home. So like I said, you learn so many cool new techniques when you do HelloFresh. My mom stepped in to help me finish up so I could clean up the kitchen while she finished. And that is the best feeling in the world when the kitchen is clean by the time you're done cooking. Oh, you could just sit down and eat and just enjoy yourself. But you guys should definitely check out HelloFresh if you haven't already. I hooked it up for you guys and got y'all a code. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code Kavari65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Okay guys, we're about to try our quesadilla. Which piece do you want, Mom? You you pick mm -hmm. first. That one looks good. This one. The top one. You want to show them? Mm -hmm. Your beautiful piece. Yep. Let me pick mine. Quesadilla. We'll do this one. You know I like quesadillas. Yes, Mom loves quesadillas. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Without yeah. sauce first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. I never eat beef anymore because Mel doesn't eat beef. Mm -hmm. So when I do eat beef, I'm like. Mm. Yeah. See, when I cook, I hate cooking just for myself. So the fact that my family's here, I'm like, okay, now I can cook with beef and it's going to be enjoyed, you know? Delicious, mom. Mm -hmm. Really good. Guys, mm -hmm. mama you know loves kids. Yeah. Sorry, I'm making you compromise. <laughs> As I was saying, that Mel's in the back, like, okay. But, yeah, guys, quesadillas is always mom, mama's choice whenever and we go. Fresh too. And mama loves HelloFresh too, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually hate eating on camera. Mm -hmm. Like that's why I'm like, okay, we're done. Now mm -hmm. let me eat in peace. 
giving them a bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out HelloFresh linked down below. And don't forget to use my code Kavari65 to get some money off. And now Mel and I are about to head to the craft store, get some fabrics for our pictures. Guys, it is such a gloomy day today. I love it. I don't love it for content purposes, but for just enjoying the weather. Look, look at how cloudy and gloomy it is, you guys. And it's 65 degrees, so it's nice and chilly. I know I'm wearing a tank top, but I got my North Face. Finally broke it out for the year. But yeah, we are at Joann's. We're going to go ahead and look at some fabrics. And I think we're going to go ahead and film the nursery tour tomorrow just because I showed you guys the weather. That room just gets such beautiful lighting that this weather is not going to do it justice. But Mel was telling me that this weather is great for... Why are you looking so concerned in the back? I don't know. I'll just show you. Mel was that. like... <laughs> um, but Mel was telling me that this weather is great for photography purposes. So we're just going to do our pictures today and then video tomorrow. Yeah. I want to be in it. I told. This is not your I told. Birthdays. No, no, no. I told Mel my biggest regret with Kayvon. I don't have that many pictures with him as a newborn. I literally have barely any pictures with him. So I told Mel like with the twins, I want to take pictures with them every single month. Like I want to be in the photos. That's what I'm saying. Like we don't have to post it. I want it for myself. Because that was the thing with Kayvon. I hated that I felt like I used to have this mindset that if the picture wasn't for Instagram, I didn't need to take the picture. And I hate that. Like why? Why was I like that? Because in this new day age, what are you going to do with it? It's and now just, I have two just, pictures with Kayvon as a newborn, too. People just think like, I mean, everybody thinks that way because in this new age, like, what are you going to do with those pictures? You might end up getting a new iPhone and lose them. It's not, well, like, we're, it's I not make, like we're getting pictures I get developed. Them, like I get them printed. To. I get them. I get the chat books. I get them printed. Yeah, but not as frequently as like we used to growing up. Yeah. Parents used to have big old... It's the plastic boxes yeah. full of just pictures. Like, yeah. We don't have that kind of nostalgia anymore. Everybody got to just Well, we look. gotta keep it. Well, we gotta keep it. That, yeah. That's our duty. We can't complain that we don't like. Oh, it's nice and chilly. I'll open the door and I'm. Like, fall vibes. Yeah, it definitely is very, very fall. I'm glad for it because I've been waiting to wear some hoodies and stuff. Like during the summer, outfits are just so hard to complete. You gotta have a lot of accessories. So during the fall, it's easy to just have a nice fit, throw in a jacket, and then it's complete. Mal hates that I have my toes out year round though. I'm literally wearing slides. Yeah, right we're now. getting her some burks this year though. If you gonna have something out, at least have your heels out. It's cold. When I get home. Cause I like the slip on shoe. You get home and her feet be dry. You, you don't gotta gotta tell to, everybody you that got dry. trying to deal with them dry feet. Then rub lotion on them. What are you like good for? No, you put them in some socks for I don't know, an hour or two. We go. These out, toes are out. too cute. <laughs> no, they're not. Fabric <laughs> for the twins' pictures, and then we need one for the makeup. Like posts that we're doing. This is glow in the dark, babe. This is cute. But it might. I don't know if, if I have to use flash. It might throw it off. Really? I'm thinking this would be good because they're going to be wearing black, right? It's definitely better than some other options I'm seeing. Babe, what do you think about these skulls for the makeup shot? The makeup? For the fl for a flat leg. <laughs> Oh, that black fur is cool too. <laughs> also, he wants a big pumpkin. This is cute. Hello guys, I am about to take off this makeup. I'm not about to get like ready for bed per se. It's still kind of early in the night, but I want to cuddle and kiss my babies in peace without getting makeup all over their clothes and their face and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash off my makeup. It's actually not that early in the night. It's almost eight. What am I talking about? In my head, I thought it was like six. But after we came home from Joanne's, we just took our pictures real quick. Aria was not cooperating at all. So we just took Kai's picture. Kai was like ready for the camera today. I was shocked. Um, but we just took pictures of Kai today and then with Kayvon. I'm just gonna go ahead and take pictures of Aria tomorrow. It's just cause she was asleep. So Kai was up, Aria was asleep. So she, her eyes were like closed in the picture and I really wanted her beautiful eyes open. So we're gonna go ahead and take those tomorrow. These lashes keep on getting stuck to my fingers. Um, but since it's pretty late, I was gonna get Kayvon ready for bed, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and like take a shower with him so I can just wash him up in there. I think that'll be quicker than doing like a full on bath because i need to shower too and yeah that's basically the rest of our night after this hour pretty much just spend time with the kids um mama and baba and i we usually watch tv together 
I'm having a really good brow day. I really don't want to wash them off, but I have to. I used the House Labs brow pencil today. Um, I usually use Anastasia Brow Wiz. And the thing is, I keep buying it in a darker shade. Like, I realize I like my eyebrows a little bit lighter than I've been doing them. So I need to go by the Brow Wiz in a lighter shade. I think I use Medium Brown or Ash Brown from Brow Wiz. And I think I need to get... Um, I think I need to start buying Soft Brown. Because that will be like a similar shade to what I have right now. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna go grab Kayvon and take a shower and then spend time with the babies. I really need to start going to bed earlier, but it's just so hard right now, you guys. Like I said, I thought it was eight. I thought it was 6 p.m. It's already eight. Like the day just flies by. And then also like balancing out with like pumping and breastfeeding. I just lose track of time so much. I need to start putting a timer on my phone. Not a timer, but a reminder like every, you know, like five, six hours. Cause I'd be like, oh, I need a pump. And then I'll look and I'll be like, seven hours have passed you know so that's definitely not good for my milk supply so i need to be a little bit better with my time management speaking of time management i'm very proud of myself for getting our family halloween costume together very early this month i literally i got all of our costumes done and ordered and shipped and everything by like october like 15th and last year i swear we did not even start thinking about halloween until like I would say like less than a week before. I think it's because I knew I had to get newborn costumes and that's pretty hard to find. So I was like, I need to be on top of it. And honestly, guys, we snapped. Our family costume is so, so cute. I've never seen anybody do it before. I'm sure people have, but from like my peers and stuff, I've never seen anybody do it before. And I think it's gonna be so cute. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I actually need to take Mama and Baba costume shopping. So leave a comment down below some costume suggestions for Mama and Baba. I told them that Baba should be the devil and Mama should be the angel. And I actually don't think Mama and Baba have ever dressed up for Halloween. I can't really recall a time they've actually worn costumes. So I want to take them costume shopping and vlog it for you guys. So leave comments down below. Leave us some suggestions on which costumes we should get Mama and Baba. Like what would be cute for them? Should we go funny? Should we go scary? Um... I don't know. I don't know what they should do. I've been trying to brainstorm, but I can't think of anything that will fit them like perfectly. So you guys let me know. Okay, okay let's take bath. Not let's bath, shower. You want to take a shower in the dark, Kate? Okay? What? That's spooky. We can put candles and take a nice shower. Okay. Kayvon wants the vibes. I don't anybody You're a skeleton? What's mommy? What's up y'all? It is one o'clock in the morning, one o'clock on the dot. And I just got in my last pump session of the night while I review this video that you guys are watching right now. And can I just say, I look like a camp counselor when I have this like lanyard on, but I recently switched to the baby Buddha pump. Um, I actually no longer use my Spectra anymore. I haven't used my Spectra in like two weeks, to be honest. I only use my baby Buddha now and it is amazing. Honestly, it's because of this pump. I could see myself actually pumping for a long time if i was still connected to that spectra i don't think i would be even though that one doesn't plug into the wall still it's just so big like you just can't walk around with it but the thing is i know i could connect it to wearable pumps if you guys don't pump you guys are probably like girl like no one cares but for those of you guys who are interested like you can connect it to wearable pumps and i did purchase those to try it out but guys nothing gets you the milk output in my opinion nothing compares to using like the traditional flange um cups like this this is by far like way better for me than using the wearable cups unfortunately i wish the wearable cups work for me as well as this one does it'd be a lot more convenient but i haven't found one that gets me the same milk output as using like you know a traditional flange and the thing is i actually use my spectra um cups and flanges and my spectra tubing with 
my baby Buddha. So you can hack it with other pumps, which is really cool. I have it linked on my Amazon if you guys are interested. If you guys are looking for a pump, like if you're pregnant right now and trying to pick one out, just get the baby Buddha, trust me. I've tried like four so far, and this is by far the most superior one. So I really do look like a camp counselor with this lanyard. Do you guys remember when you first started driving? Like when I got my license in high school, like all the girlies had their lanyards, like the Vera Bradley lanyards. Oh my gosh, new memory unlocked. I love Vera Bradley. I had the backpack, I had the card holder, I had the dance bag, I had the whole shebang. Is there hair on my lip? Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like this video down below and subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you never miss out. And also don't forget to check out HelloFresh and use my code Kavari65 to get some money off, linked down below. And we'll see you again for our next upload. Bye guys. Thank you.